welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have an old favorite it is of course an everything five pounds dot com haul firstly i want to thank them for very kindly working with me again on today's video you guys know i'm pretty much a monthly shopper on their website we have a lot to get through probably one of the biggest ever hauls i've done with them i have spotted zara i've spotted top shop so yeah we have some bargains to share and i will leave links to everything that is still available down in the description box they sell out quick so if you see anything you like get it whilst you can and i would recommend this is what i do i sign up to the newsletter so that i get an email every time new things have been added so if you've never heard of them everything five pounds is an online retailer that basically stops a load of x sample stock x season stock high street retailers that no longer want items rather than sending them to landfill they send them to everything five pounds which in turn allows you guys to grab a bargain everything on their website is five pounds quite often they do flash sales where things might be even just a pound which is amazing they have a lot on their website so i do recommend making yourself a coffee and literally setting aside a couple of hours to just browse so the first item is from zara i can tell from the label they do often cut out the labels for branding purposes i don't know the legalities behind it but quite often i'm such an avid shopper that i can recognize the branding from what is left on the label anyway this is basically a little padded shouldered crop top now this is in a large so i'm hoping it'll fit but it does have ruching on the back so i'm thinking it's going to be one of those stretchy fabrics that might be okay and also with zara sizing you never know sometimes i'm a small sometimes i'm an extra large in their clothes you just don't know so this is a super extreme padded shoulder really nice top to have like as a nice top and jeans with heels kind of an outfit so love that zara is an absolute fave for me as well and then the next item that i got i do think i actually have another one similar to this and i got them to sort of compare this is again this is what i mean by the labeling we all know this is from topshop right so this even has the original price on it of 29 pounds we got it for five pounds woo! and it's basically a satiny kind of shirt blouse style with a collar really nice again for that kind of simple comfort of having a nice top and jeans for maybe dinner out <laughs> dinner out <sighs> one day soon one day soon i got this one in a size 10 i think they had another color from memory we have some tailored trousers these are in a color which we all know that i love beige so these are like a high-waisted almost tailored style trouser quite lightweight and comfortable feeling um little pockets on the back and a belt detail as well they are in a size 12 so i'm hoping they're gonna fit they look like they will and the fact that they've got a tie waist you can kind of cinch it in and then this i was super excited to try because i'm loving a chocolate brown at the minute and this is basically a chocolate brown roll neck jumper that rich chocolatey brown i just love i even have some chocolate brown leggings so i feel like a nice cozy at home day outfit could be those chocolate brown leggings um with this roll neck jumper now this is in an extra large though they had this in black as well i'm glad i sized up to an extra large just because it isn't as oversized as i'd like it to be for leggings so size up if that's how you want to wear it moving on this one is actually too small for me so i'm gonna to have to either return this or maybe i've got a friend that i feel like might like this um it is in an extra small though and i wanted to get it to show you guys um because if you are an extra small this is a beautiful like open front cardigan it is even i had a look on the material which you can do on their website as well and it is partly made with alpaca wool so 50% wool, 10% alpaca wool in there as well, which I think is amazing. It's from the brand Monari. Well worth checking out if you are an extra small or if they've had more sizes come in stock. Moving on, we've got a plain white sweatshirt, an absolute staple in my wardrobe and one that, one second, there we go. One that um, I get so much wear out of. So this is exactly as it is, just a plain white sweatshirt. Really, really nice and soft. It's not as oversized as I'd usually like for wearing it with leggings. So I'd probably wear this with trousers trousers leather look trousers or jeans or whatever and um, this is definitely something a little out of my comfort zone and one that i'm intrigued to try and style up so it's from a brand called nevermore and it's basically a 
shirt. I know, right? This is not typical for me. Maybe if it had been white, it would be. It's quite thin though. The, the only thing is, uh, I was imagining it to be like a real thick, crisp shirt. It's not, it's more thin and lightweight. It's like poplin style, so quite oversized and long. This with some jeans in springtime. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite excited for spring and spring clothes. I love a switch up of a season for like a bit of a fresh start. I'm gonna have a spring clean of the house. Well, we're probably gonna be well underway with renovations then, so a spring clean of the rooms that we're gonna be in or like clear out declutter. Maybe like with a half tuck, undone slightly, maybe even because it's more oversized fit. It is in a small that but just to slightly wear it open and maybe even off shoulder, who knows. Next up is a good little basic. It's a gray ribbed high neck jumper and it's quite long as well. I love the fact that it's like a dip low hem at the bottom so it covers your bum while you wear leggings. I could tell as well from the labeling, it's from Primark. Um, and I actually think I had something similar to this in a different colour in the past. So this, in fact, is a prime example of a jumper that I've had in the past from Primark and then managed to pick it up on everything £5 and I sized up in it so that I could wear it with leggings. I've got myself another cosy jumper. Let's face it, I've bought way too much for just, I mean, I've got a whole new wardrobe in this haul. It's quite nice to be able to show you guys the variety of stuff that's online, especially working with them, just to show you all the different options. But I do definitely need a one in one out policy and a big clear out in my wardrobe currently just to donate a load to charity. This is a thick kind of roll neck jumper. It's got a subtle kind of cable knit design on the front. I think as well from memory this was in another colour. This is exactly what I mean by a nice long and oversized jumper that is perfect to wear on an everyday basis around the house in winter so that you keep nice and cosy and comfy with just leggings, cosy socks. This is from the menswear section. Again, another um, cosy jumper. It's from H&M, this one, which is amazing. Love a good H&M find on everything five pounds. This is like a really nice cool toned camel nude and it is in a large, so it's definitely one that Tom could have if he liked it, but also one that we could maybe share. Nice long countryside walk, keeping warm in my nice men's H&M jumper, why not? This is something that I saw, was it Hazel who featured this dress? I think it was. It's a basically like a wrap style dress with a bit of ruching on. They had it in black as well and I kind of regret not picking it up in black instead just because it's more wearable. This kind of nude shade, you've got to be super careful with because you've got to be tanned. If you're not, it can really wash you out. But nonetheless, it's a really pretty, simple, like bodycon wrap dress. I just really liked it on her and so I thought I would pick it up myself. We have a open little cardi again. This one is from the brand Sub Level in a large, it's got the original labeling on it. And they had this in a dark gray and this one was more of the lighter gray mal type shade. It's got pockets, again, nice and long to wear with leggings for an everyday basis. You can see a running theme here, but let's face it, this is my life all day, every day. I picked up next two of the same item in different colors. We've got the beige option and the olive khaki option. This is something that I tried to get on Zara recently and had a bit of a mix up with orders. They didn't send a lot of stuff out because it had gone out of stock by the time they processed the order. One of them was a check shirt. I just love that kind of open flannel shirt style shirt. This one is in a size 38 and this one's 42. So this one is slightly bigger. I'm thinking just wear that open with like a little white bodysuit underneath and either some jeans depending on the length of it or leggings just to have it like open and a really relaxed kind of fit. I love that idea. So hence why I picked up both colors. And then speaking of leggings, I got myself some kind of almost faux leather slash wet look leggings. These are from Primark in a small, which is a 10 to 12. Being such a Primark lover, I do quite often spot things on everything five pounds that I previously owned from Primark. So this is one of those and just a good staple to have if you want a slightly different alternative to a regular plain Jane black legging. You wanna jazz it up a little bit, but without going full on faux leather trousers 
comfort with these is key. Okay, speaking of things that I've spotted previously in Primark, this is another one of those items. I remember this from last season. It is in a size 10 and it is this kind of smock style dress with this almost a floral pattern um, in this beautiful kind of sage olive green color. I am thinking this would be really nice as a wedding guest outfit dress. You know, if it's maybe into autumn, which we actually do have one coming up. So depending on the weather, I'll decide near the time what I actually go for. But um, yeah, I feel like an autumnal wedding would be really nice to wear this because it does have a bit of a sleeve, high neck, and it is midi to maxi. So I'm gonna say midaxi. Really nice and floaty and comfortable. So you're gonna be comfy all day or like a christening or something. Just a really nice outfit to, to wear because I do wear a lot of the neutrals. I do struggle when it comes to occasion wear because I find that I can't wear anything white to a wedding or cream or even nude really, unless if it's got a pattern on it. And then you don't wanna wear black because that's a bit morbid. So. This is gonna be a nice addition to my wardrobe. I really, really like it. Into autumn with chunky boots and a knit jumper. This would be lovely. I love the kind of knit vest style trend that's been going on lately. And I saw this, however, it's not as long as I'd probably like or oversized. I feel like the neck is gonna be a bit too small to wear how I'm thinking like with a shirt underneath. Do love a hands tooth print. I loved this last year. I had so much Hounds tooth, dog tooth, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I feel like this just for me, how I was imagining styling it up, I was thinking it would be more oversized than that. Oh, this is the other satin shirt that I got. I think, I can't really tell from the branding, but I think it might be Zara. I feel like it might be Zara. And it is, again, that same, kind of same shirt that I got from Topshop, the other one. Um, but this is a high collar, so slightly different style. It's also not got the like balloon sleeve detailing, so this is definitely more simple. This is quite long as well, so this would look really nice actually just simply on its own with some leather leggings and heels in an evening. I got a few pairs of joggers, gray, white, and black, obviously standard. This one actually has a bit of a pattern on it. I think they're all from the same brand, this brand called Ray. On. These ones are grey, high waist, New York years 1985. I think they had a matching hoodie or sweatshirt to this one as well. Then these ones, yes, yeah, same branding in a medium. These ones are just plain and simple white joggers. This one actually is from a different brand called Souffle in a medium. It's got pocket details and actually these ones I prefer. These ones are my favourite of the three. I also got a basic black tee to go with it. I feel like you can pick up some really good basics on everything five pounds. So this is like a three quarter sleeve uh, black top, just plain and simple. Again, long enough to wear with leggings, super slouchy and comfy, easy to tuck into jeans as well. A nice scoop neck and I think this is, yeah, this is Zara as well. This is another Primark number. I love a good Primark find. And this is beautiful. Again, kind of similar to what I was saying before by adding a little pop of color into my wardrobe for any occasions that we might have. This is a beautiful, almost pistachio green jumpsuit. A really nice neckline. I loved this on it. It's got like this halter neck design. And yeah, just a really pretty color, double lined as well, so nice and secure and covered for occasion wear. Then we have this jumper here. I told you guys I got a lot, so if you're sticking with me through this massive haul, then thank you. This is from a brand called Premium Indigo Blue Original Denim in a small to medium. They had this in another color as well, actually. I went for the black option, and it's got a really thick rib design to it, and also like a bat wing style. So again, a really nice relaxed kind of fit. Then I've got some everyday leggings to wear. These look so comfy, I'm not gonna lie, and super, super stretchy, incredibly soft. They do have a kind of sports element design to it on the side, kind of Adidas Nike style. And again, for like dog walking, now that I'm a dog mom, my everyday attire now, literally every single day for the rest of his life. Then I picked up this long sleeve top. Again, this is what I was saying when it comes to good quality basics that you can find. This again, looks like it's from Zara. So lots of Zara finds in this one. Slightly longer at the back again, which is a, an absolute must for me when it comes to wearing wet 
Lola wearing leggings. Next up, we have this from a brand called Art Love Paris. I love the branding of this. See, nice and simple in a beautiful kind of gray mull. Again, super, super soft. This equally is yet again another great basic three quarter slash short sleeve oversized fit jumper that's nice and long line to wear with leggings. I sound like a broken record. A clear out is definitely needed. Let me know if you want me to film a bit of a wardrobe clear out. This is from a brand called Austin and it's in an extra large. It has a price, a foreign price on it of 999 now i'm guessing that's not pounds i'm glad i did size up to an extra large in this one and it's not that long either so i definitely feel i probably wear this one with um either like the thicker sturdier leggings my new oisha ones that i got in my zara haul amazing absolutely love them and they have like a drawstring so they definitely feel more of a jogger slash legging so this would be really nice with them actually love again another little pop of color into my wardrobe a little injection of green i'm clearly loving the green and uh, this is again that kind of like a floral design but semi paisley as well to the point where this i think again would look really nice as a wedding guest outfit it's got obviously some white in it but it does have a lot of pattern and green to it that i feel like this would be really pretty in summer or springtime with the longer sleeves and even into autumn again like the other one with tights and boots maybe with a chunky knit over top would be quite nice so yeah this is from the brand big dart this is in a uk 10 and then last but not least i got this blazer slash coat from this brand this is definitely like almost designer inspired la go go i don't know and then there's the original labeling on and there's like some patches which i guess you can sew on with like a little dog oh no they're little badges so you don't sew them on you can like pin them on I don't think I'd be wearing that to be completely honest with you but just as a nice white coat goes as nice as white coats go to get them for a fiver definitely less precious for getting tan and makeup on because let's face it as soon as you put something white or cream on like this you're gonna have makeup on it by the end of the day so this is in a euro 40 five pound for really thick honestly this is such great quality super super thick actually more winter appropriate than summer and spring which i thought it would be quite thin with it only being a fiver it's not it's amazing quality so that is everything that i picked up from everything five pounds there is lots of new goodies to add to my wardrobe let me know which were some of your favorites thanks to everything five pounds for kind of sponsoring this video and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys